So my bedroom is currently looking very different. <laughs> I've been needing to paint my room for a while now and this felt like the perfect time. Lockdown 2.0. <laughs> so we're going to do it and I'm very excited to show you the colour. I'm going to quickly show you the mad colour swatch problem I had going on. <laughs> colour I went with in the end which is from Lick. These are the Lick samples. I'm so impressed with these samples. These are basically big stickers so you can peel them off and put them wherever you want in the room which is so much less messy than like normal paint samples. But before we start painting, I am gonna go and get ready for the day. I've got my painting attire on already. These already have paint on them, so <laughs> we're all good. I brought you into my bathroom. I'm gonna do my skincare and a tiny bit of makeup. So this part of the video is very kindly sponsored by Burt's Bees. And I'm gonna talk you through my favorite products that I've been using. I'm gonna start with skincare. So this is the cleanser I've been using. It's their Intense Hydration Cleanser. As you guys know, I have very dry skin and I've been really liking this. It's a really nice sort of thick creamy consistency. So you only need about this much. So I'm just going to wet my face quickly and then I'm just going to rub in the cleanser in my hand and rub it into my face. Mm, smells really good. <laughs> I've been loving skincare recently that is almost 100% natural. This is 98.9% .9 natural and it just leaves my skin feeling really nice and hydrated and smooth. Doesn't feel like that horrible squeaky squeaky clean. Yeah, been really liking that. Then before I go in with my moisturiser, I just wanted to talk about the Burt's Bees Intense Lip Treatments. I am in love with these. I'm always on the hunt for really good lip products because my lips get dry so quickly. But I'm going to use a scrub this morning. These are meant to be overnight treatments, but I'm going to use this this morning because I've got a long day of painting and I need my lips to be nice and hydrated. This product has little honey crystals in it and it's got cocoa butter as well, so it's nice and moisturizing. I'm then going to moisturize my skin with the Intense Hydration Daily Lotion. And I just take two pumps, rub it together with my fingers, get it nice and warm, and then I just apply it on my skin. I use this one in the morning and in the evening. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of the Overnight Intense Lip Balm just because I can't get enough of it. <laughs> Moving on to makeup, I'm going to use the Burt's Bees Lip and Cheek Stick. And I'm using it in the shade Suze Sands. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that. <laughs> and it's just this gorgeous natural pinky shade. And in the middle, it's got this sort of highlighting bit, which actually just gives the most amazing glow to your skin. I've been using this every single day since I got it. So I just put it on my cheeks like this. And then I blend it in with my fingers or with a brush. Doesn't matter which. And then I'm going to use one of their tinted lip balms. This one is in the shade Hibiscus, and this is such a lovely rosy shade. It just sort of makes your whole complexion look a lot brighter, especially mixed with that stick. I really like it. Okay, I'm gonna pop a little bit of concealer and brow product on, and then I will be back with you guys. There you go, that is my face ready for today. I'd love to know if you guys have tried out Burt's Bees skincare or makeup products before. The lip products for me are probably my favourite. They're just so hydrating. I always have dry lips and they've been sorting my lips out very well. <laughs> if you guys are interested in trying them out or topping up then I will leave the Burt's Bees website linked down below and I will list all of the products I have used today. That is my makeup done for the day. I'm now going to go and get all of the paint stuff sorted out. I actually need to wash the walls first really or just wipe them down a bit. So that's the first job. Bit boring <laughs> but needs to be done because these walls have not been touched in a while. I'm going to quickly wash the walls. I need to take these samples off now. I have my coat on because I just went out to the garage and it's freezing. Okay I'm just washing the walls down a bit. Mm -hmm. 
here are the paints I'm using today. How cool are these tins? I feel like everything this brand does is just so well thought out and so cool. Even the stirring sticks look nice. I've gone with shade pink 02. So I'm going to start on this big wall, I think, and pour this out. I need to give it a good stir first. trying to decide if I want the ceiling to be painted pink or not. It's looking patchy because it's drying at different times. I'm not sure if I want it just white or all pink. That's all going to be the same colour as well. Um, hmm, not sure. I've been completely obsessed with the three bird renovation new house. I think it's house 12. They literally painted the whole house in a colour like this and they did the ceilings and it just looked so cool. So this is the living room. And they painted the ceiling in there. Obviously it's a bit more of a larger, brighter space. If you're not following these girls, then I would highly recommend following them. I love their stuff so much. It does look cool with the same colour in the ceiling. has been painted. It actually wasn't as bad as I was thinking it was going to be. I'm about to paint the little bit of wood that goes up to the attic up there. Cracking on again today with the painting. I have a second coat to do on the walls and the ceiling and then I'm going to open the eggshell paint and do the doors, well door, <laughs> and the skirting board. So yeah, let me show you what the room is looking like now that everything has dried overnight. I am so in love with this colour. It's just perfect. So this is what it looks like with one coat at the moment. It definitely needs two coats for this and I probably will go and do another coat on the ceiling. Uh, it's looking really nice. It's coming off a lot yellower on camera but it's quite peachy pink. But yeah I'm also planning on painting the radiator as well in the eggshell. Let's get on start painting. Thank you. 
trust me. <laughs> the second coat is now done on the walls and ceiling. So now I'm going to use the eggshell finish in pink 02 and I'm going to do the door, radiator and skirting board. I've just put some masking tape down. It doesn't stick very well onto the carpet though, so not sure what it's going to <laughs> turn out like. But the carpet in here is not the world's nicest carpet. But saying that, still don't want to get any on the carpet. So I think I'll do the door first. I took the hook off there and I didn't bother taking this off. So when you paint doors, apparently you're meant to do the inside bits first and then these long bits and then those bits. <laughs> so technical, I know. So let's open up the eggshell. Still not over these tins. I really love them. I, I literally want to like display them somewhere. I think they're so pretty. Okay, and then once I've stirred it up, I think I'm just gonna paint with brushes for these. first coat is on the door, skirting boards and radiator. And the radiator looks so much better now that it matches the walls. It needed a paint anyway because it wasn't even white. <laughs> but now I'm going to take my curtains downstairs and properly hem them, which I haven't done and they've been up for a few years. <laughs> they were just like raw at the bottom, which I quite liked, but I think they'd look better with a thick hem at the bottom, so I'm gonna go and do that. I'm so happy with how this room is turning out. I had a horrible feeling it was gonna be like just so pink or really, really dark, but it actually isn't. It's such a nice warm shade, and I think it looks nice and modern, the way I've painted everything in the same colour. It'll look even better when there's stuff in it tomorrow. I'm gonna go and sort these curtains out now though. My H&M home order has just arrived and it is in the most ridiculous size box. <laughs> Absolutely huge. Um, but I thought I would show you a few of the bits I picked up. First one is this long, I didn't actually think it would be this long, don't know why, but I quite like that it's nice and long. I can put perfumes or makeup and things on this. I have lots of mirrors that are like woody texture and I like to mix wood and white and pink. And I just think it sort of grounds a room having wood in it. And I also picked up this duvet cover. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this yet. I need to see what it looks like in the room when it's finished. Um, I won't open it until then, but it's just striped. You probably can't see that image through the text. Okay, these are what I was most excited about. These are cushion covers. I really love the natural look they have to them and the sort of different textures and the tassels. I picked up two. These were in the Black Friday sale, so I got 20% off those. <sighs> this will teach me not to get a measuring tape out I'm normally so good at getting measuring tapes out and checking sizes of things, but I didn't really do that with this one. <laughs> but it's actually really reasonable if it's this size. Um, so I've got a giant basket. I really like it. This I guess is another home purchase. I keep seeing this when I go into the shop and I've never been able to justify the price, but with 20% off, I was like, I'm gonna give it a go because I really like it. It's just simple, clear, striped um, makeup case. So it looks like that. And I just really love striped things. So I'm really happy with this. Oh my God, look. I also got Floria jumper. How cute. I might go and try this on her now actually. 
H&M are actually so good for dog clothes. Flory's got her best um, waterproof jacket from there. Exciting! I'm putting my room together a little bit this morning and I'm about to put the curtains up and I remembered I wanted to try a curtain hack that I've seen and I've been saving up toilet roll rolls for <laughs> quite a while so that I could do this hack. So Ikea curtains have different bits, I usually just put the rod through this big hole but I'm going to try putting them through these bits and putting maybe one or bit less than one in each gap and then that's meant to make the pleats sit evenly so I'm gonna give that a go and see what it looks like it might look really bad but we'll we will find out I think that's quite a success they're all sitting pretty evenly at the top there I'm very happy with that Okay, the room is finally done now. I'm so happy with how it looks. So let me show you around and let me also show you something that took me two days to complete and that I will never do again. <laughs> so this is what the room is looking like. It feels so nice and warm in here. And over this side I kept my big chest of drawers and then this is what I was working on for the last two days. I also left this on here because I wanted to show you how accurate the swatches are, that's so good. But anyway, this piece I picked up on Facebook Marketplace and it did not look like this before, it had loads of scratches and dents and everything but I mainly picked it up for the mirror but then I thought, you know what, I'm going to give painting it a go and I did and it was very testing of my patience but I just love the way the mirror reflects the light onto the table. I just love this so much. Very Art Deco, kind of 1950s looking. So yeah, very happy with that. I need to get a little stool to go here and possibly put a little curtain across there so I can hide things underneath it. And I think it goes very nicely with the new pink color. I kept my vintage easel in here as well because I really like the way that white looks with this color. Yeah, here's how the door turned out. So very happy. Also put my new bedding on the bed. I've got the striped duvet and the cushion covers. I love the way these look. So there we have it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna put some before and after shots now of what the room looked like before I painted it pink. <laughs> also wanted to say thank you to Burt's Bees for sponsoring the video. As I said previously, I will leave the link down below so you can shop all the items that I mentioned at the start of the video. And I will link the paint colours and everything else I talked about in this video if I can find the links. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!